Hi everyone, today we will be discussing declining biodiversity threatens food security. Following are the contents, definition of biodiversity, definition of food security, people affected by global food hunger, importance of biodiversity, loss of biodiversity and food security. Following are the subtopics, loss of trees and food security, loss of soil biodiversity and food security, ocean biodiversity and food security, birds diversity and food security, insect biodiversity and food security. Coming to the topic how the declining biodiversity threatens food security biodiversity first we will define biodiversity biologists most often define biological diversity as biodiversity is the totality of genes species and ecosystem of a region so we can say that biological diversity and biodiversity are the same terms we can simply define biodiversity as the variation of life in an area food security food security exists when all people at all time have physical economic access to sufficient safe and nutritious food that meets their dietary needs and food preferences for an active and healthy life this widely accepted definition points to the following dimensions of food security a food availability the availability of sufficient quantities of food of appropriate quality supplied through domestic production or imports so food availability is actually the availability of food whether it is locally produced or it is imported from another country or it also includes the aids that developed countries send to developing countries b food access access by individual to adequate resources entitlements for acquiring appropriate foods for a nutritious diet so food access is actually the resources the financial resources which individual or consumer holds or have to buy or to acquire food c utilization utilization of food through adequate diet clean water sanitation Healthcare to reach a state of nutritional well-being where our physiological needs are met. This brings out the importance of non-food inputs in food security. D. Stability. Stability simply means having a stable situation. So, to be food secure, a population, household or individual must have access to adequate food at all time. They should not risk losing access to food as a consequence of sudden shocks such as an economic or climatic crisis. Such as we have floods, we have drought condition which results to lesser production of crops or other food uh, materials. Economic uh, crisis such as uh, wars, such as um, the uh, de uh, depressions, uh, economic depressions, such as financial condition of a country, or the financial condition of individual, or cyclic events such as a seasonal food insecurity, uh, such as the uh, attack of pe insect pests, such as uh, winter extreme winter conditions, such as extreme summers, such as droughts. So these are results to food instability. Um, the concept of stability can therefore refers to both the availability and excess dimension of food security. People affected by global hunger. More than 690 million people are affected by hunger today or 8.9% of the world population. An estimated 2 billion people in the world did not have access to safe, nutritious and sufficient food in 2019 according to FAO and World Health Organization 2020. Food insecurity can worsen diet quality and consequently increase the risk of various forms of malnutrition potentially leading to undernutrition uh, as well as overweight and obesity. Moderate or severe food insecurity affects one quarter of the world population or half of the people affected by moderate or severe food insecurity in the world lives in Asia and more than one third in Africa, according to FAO uh, report 2020. So, food insecurity uh, leads towards 
disease toward mal uh, nutrition towards undernutrition and the food insecurity is much higher in asia and africa uh, than the rest of the world so in the figure you can see that uh, we have uh, uh, the green color represent the total population the uh, yellow color represent the moderate food insecurity and the red color uh, represents uh, shows the severe food insecurity uh, when we look at the first uh, circle the world uh, we have a total population of uh, 7713 million people about uh, 1948 million people are in moderate food insecurity whereas 703 uh, 703.3 million people faces severe insecurity uh, so so you can also see the rest of the, the asia the africa northern uh, america and europe the latin america and the caribbean importance of food uh, of biodiversity in food security how the biodiversity uh, affects food security so the plain fact is that every mouthful of food you eat comes from the natural world there is no food that nourishes you that does not come from the natural world every lungful of air that you take is refined by the natural world oxygen breathed out by plants if you cannot breathe and you can you cannot eat you don't exist Sir David Attenborough. So, so it is very simple that everything around us that we survive on, such as the food, the water, all, all these things are available due to the diversity of life we have, such as the plant that helps in the in the purification of water and air. It gives us the water and air. It also gives us the food to eat. So loss of uh, how the loss of forest trees affects food security around the world. The forest trees are not only a direct source of food for humans such as it is responsible to pro provide the world with nuts, fruits and wild plants for community to eat. Forest is habitat to countless other uh, organisms and a source of food for them. Following are the effects of forest loss on food security. Number one, the loss of forest will result in food insecurity for forest dependent communities. Trees helps to reduce runoff of rain, water and helps to raise groundwater storage. The runoff of water is mostly suspended with particles of sand and is not healthy for drinking. So, so the trees helps to raise the groundwater level which is uh, a source of uh, water availability for humans all around the world so when when the trees are not working and it is not functioning to absorb the water and raise raise the water level so the water will will suspend the sand particle in it and it will it will run off so when it will run off it actually this water uh, will not stay for long for the people to drink and it will be suspended with particle which is unhealthy to drink forest also helps to reduce risk of flood this helps to protect our agriculture crop from erosion and sustain forest security uh, as we have discussed that forest helps to uh, to absorb water and it helps to retain floods to protect f uh, floods so when forests help to protect floods it doesn't allow the sand particle to 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 cover uh, the crop area the agriculture uh, fields uh, which will help the 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 crops to to um, produce a good quality Forest is also a source of fodder for livestock. This helps in fulfilling the meat demand of increasing population. So the forest or the trees are actually a source of food for the livestock or the wildlife. And we are dependent on the livestock and wildlife for, for food for source, uh, as a source of, we consume the livestock as a source of meat. Following are some examples of uh, around the world how 
uh, some countries are dependent and what are the percentage of dependency of the country on forests. In Ethiopia, the proportion of population consuming wild plants varies from 30 to 40 percent in some region to as much as 56 or 67 percent in other. Over 50 percent of the population in the country Dembelia region consume wild meat. So the forest dependent people in Ethiopia is about uh, 30 to 40 percent in some area where it reaches to 56 to 67 percent in other areas. In Jordan, wild edible plants provide local inhabitants with a source of highly nutritious food and opportunity for income generation. The country natural center for agriculture resource and extension has documented more than 100 edible wild plants which are utilized by local community as food, salad, spices and traditional medicines. So Jordan is also dependent on, on the wild edible plants. They, they consume the wild edible plants plants uh, as a source of food uh, in the form of salads, species, uh, spices or uh, they cook uh, these plants where it is also used in traditional medicines and apart from it they are also selling it to earn some money and buy the needs uh, uh, and fulfill the needs they require. In Sweden, collecting of wild berries and mushrooms is very popular and culturally embedded, although not essential from a food security perspective. Wild legon uh, berry and bilberry are harvested commercially 10,000 to 20,000 tons per year. So in Sweden, uh, this uh, commercial uh, harvest of um, wild legon berry and bilberry is about 10,000 to 20,000 tons per year which is uh, a grand sum um, and the 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 mushroom uh, the the mushroom that we eat uh, it is uh, also it is also um, fulfilling a great uh, job soil biodiversity world worms Worms, termites, lichens, and soil microbes may well be the heroes of food production as without these species, land-based biodiversity would collapse and food production ceases. So this is according to the Director General of IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature, which says that worms and termites, which we actually look, uh, we, we look as a uh, villain, but they are actually the heroes of uh, food production. They are the ones who, uh, who, uh, who bring us the uh, nutrient recycling for the plants, uh, which results to, uh, to, uh, to protect the land for future uh, production, future crops. Soil hosts uh, about one fourth of our planet's biodiversity. Soil pollution uh, puts this at risk. It starts to reduce soil biodiversity, which weakens the soil structure and its ability to resist erosion. So, when when you have the soil pollution, this will risk the soil biodiversity. This will risk the soil biodiversity, which results to to weakens or to. Uh, uh, to decrease the soil, uh, to decrease the soil structure, to work uh, in a good way against soil erosion. Uh, according to FAO, uh, about five, uh, about every five seconds, the equivalent of one soccer pitch is eroded. Once we lose the this soil, we would not see it again in our lifetime. Has it? At this rate, 90% of Earth's soil could be degraded by 2050. So the soil erosion is actually um, a great, uh, uh, a burning issue. Uh, and the soil erosion can be controlled through the plants, the plantations. And the plantation is helped. And the plantation is helped to a fertile soil which bring which is brought, which is, which is made by these termites and worms. Soil erosion inhibits our ability to grow nutritious food. As it decreases in nutrient availability to crop, we cannot underestimate this threat to our crops. So when the nutrient availability will not be there, the crop will not grow in a good way. 
in the picture you can see uh, the uh, worms so the, the soil biodiversity such as um, we can uh, say that it brings the uh, nutrient recycling such as the um, nitrogen cycle such as the carbon cycle such as the uh, such as the pas uh, phosphorus uh, cycle such as the sulfur cycle so actually the soil biodiversity is very much important and we are and we are actually destroying our soil biodiversity by the use of insecticide and pesticides so which is very much harmful to the soil biodiversity ocean biodiversity so according to the study the loss of ocean biodiversity is accelerating and 29% of the seafood species human consume have already crashed if the long-term trend continue in 30 years there will be little or no seafood available for sustainable harvest Fish stock play a vital role in food security providing the nutrition in a source of income for billions of people. The livelihood of 10 to 12 percent of the world population that's over 870 million people depends on fishery and aquaculture. So it is about 10 to 12 percent of the world population uh, which is a great, uh, great population with a great number of people they depend on fisheries and aquaculture it is estimated that over 3 billion people worldwide rely on food so the agriculture the the ocean uh, biodiversity it is a source of food to about 3 billion people around the world Fisheries are a pillar of global economy. A threat to ocean biodiversity means a threat to the food security of 3 billion people. So when you threat, when you have the water pollution, you throw the garbage, you throw, uh, you have the oil spills, uh, the, the ship, uh, the oil spillage from ships. So you are destroying actually the ocean biodiversity. And when you are destroying the ocean biodiversity, it will result a food insecurity for 3 billion people. Birds. Agriculture, lodging, invasive species and climate change is a threat to birds' habitat. Humans are particularly destructive to forest, grassland, wetland and other fresh water habitat. Agriculture expansion threatens 74% of the world's most threatened bird species. So, our agricultural practices today and the the rate at which we are destroying the 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 forest degrading deforesting uh, our uh, forest we are destroying our forest the forest fire that are uh, happening around us so it is destroying the habitat for uh, birds and when you are destroying the birds habitat you are actually uh, killing the birds so birds acts as a natural source of pest control birds is a source of natural control for pests we have recently seen a locust attack in in parts of pakistan and india uh, which which uh, result uh, a destruction uh, to the forest crop uh, which result a destruction to the um, the wheat crops uh, of these areas birds are uh, consume at a source of uh, is a source of meat and egg it is conveyed to pollination of agriculture crop and other food so birds uh, uh, birds are actually having a great role in the in the food security it is not only a so source of meat for the people but it is also a source of pollination it brings pollination for plants for crops it also a source of uh, a, uh, uh, source of control, uh, natural control for the pest. We have recently seen uh, the um, rodents attack in Australia. So birds are in the picture. You can see that uh, locust is being uh, fed to the younger birds by the um, elder one. Bees and other pollinators. Bees and other pollinators are under threats. Present species extension rate are 100 to 1000 times higher than normal due to human impact. Insects will likely make up the bulk of future biodiversity loss with 40% of invertebrate pollinator species, particularly bees and butterflies facing extension, uh, though to a lesser degree vertebrate pollinators are um, also threatened with extension globally about 16.5%. 
थ्री आउट ऑफ फोर क्रॉप्स अक्रॉस द ग्लोब प्रोड्यूसिंग फ्रूट और और सीड्स फॉर ह्यूमन यूज आ यूज इज फूड डिपेंड्स एट लीज इन पार्ट ऑन पॉलिनेटर सो द फूड और द सीड प्रोड्यूसिंग प्लांट्स आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन ऑन दिस पॉलीनेटर्स सच एज द बटरफ्लाई सच एज द सच एज द बीज सच एज द वॉस सच एज बीटल्स इम्प्रूविंग पॉलीनेटर डेंसिटी इन डाइवर्सिटी बूस्ट क्रॉप यूल्स सो वेन यू विल बी यू विल बी इंक्रीजिंग द पॉलीनेटर डेंसिटी यू आर एक्चुअली बूस्टिंग यूर क्रॉप टू टू प्रोड्यूस मच मोर टू प्रोड्यूस एट अ हायर रेट Pollinators affect 35 percent of global agriculture, being supporting the production 87 percent of leading food crops worldwide. So it is it is a source of uh, food production about 87 percent, uh, 87 percent of the leading food crops worldwide. Pollinator dependent food product uh, products contribute to healthy diet and nutrition. Safeguarding bees. safeguard biodiversity the vast majority of uh, uh, pollinators are wild including over 20000 species of bees so we are actually having 20000 species of uh, bees but we are uh, we are using we are promoting monoculture we are promoting uh, single species of honey such as uh, bee such as the honey bee uh, in america uh, about uh, almost 80% to 90% of the almond uh, gardens are dependent on these honey bee uh, for pollination but but there are 20000 species of bees and we are destroying the 20000 in promoting the monoculture promoting the honey bee so there are different plants which whose pollination depends on different types of Uh, insect different types of bees and we are uh, we are bombarding only a single species of honey bee for centuries bees busy as they are known to be uh, have benefited people plants and the planet but did you know that, that bees are not the only ones that sustain life on earth by carrying pollens from one flower to another bees butterfly birds bats and other pollinators facilitate and improve food production that is contributing to our food security and nutrition so in short in short we can say that biodiversity whether it is present in forest whether it is uh, present in our grasslands whether it is our uh, wetlands with whether it is our freshwater ecosystem whether it is ocean biodiversity whether it is avian biodiversity these birds are the insects they helps in promoting the food security they helps in some way in performing their functions to to improve the food security for human but we are destroying it it a uh, it a uh, increasing rate so we should uh, promote we should we should uh, be doing some 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 sort of um, some sort of uh, some sort of policies for controlling the biodiversity that's all about the topic thank you it is the end of the topic